In this video, I'm going to be going over how to change the main air correction or emulsion tubes in a set of 40, 44, 48 IDF Webers. The first thing that I like to do is take the air cleaners off and put a piece of paper towel down the barrel of each carburetor. This isn't technically necessary, but if you accidentally drop the jets, it'll keep them from hopefully going down the barrel of the carburetor and into your engine. The next step is simply taking a screwdriver and backing out the jet holder. Simply lift the jet out the holder with the jets and air emulsion tube. Once you have them out, you have to separate them very carefully. Take a needle nose pliers, or sometimes they're loose enough to do by hand, and remove the main jet from the end. You can then remove the emulsion tube from the jet holder. And finally, you can remove the air correction jet from the emulsion tube. This is a picture of the jet holder. This is the one piece that isn't adjustable. It basically just holds everything together. Here's a picture of the emulsion tube. If you look down at the bottom of it, you should be able to see a marking because there's different designed ones that you can purchase and put in the carburetors. This is the main jet. You can see this is a 130 main jet. If you go higher in numbers on the main jets, it will increase the amount of fuel. If you go lower, it will decrease it and lean it out. This is our correction jet. This one is a 160, I believe, on there. Air corrections work the opposite way. If you go up in an air correction jet, it will lean it out. And if you go down, it will richen it up. Hopefully you found this interesting. In my, in my next video, I will be attaching the wideband O2 sensor to one of my cars and showing how to figure out which jets need to be changed. Thanks for watching.